Sometimes I don't know, I scream or I, I talk to myself. <laughs> it does not really help, but at least you can get your emotions out. Pickers are really dependent on trees for their money, their mood, and how their days in general goes. When I first came here, my first year, I just felt so good. Like I've never felt this good in my life. I felt like I was at my place with the right people. And it was my first big travel alone by myself. And then I just fell in love, I guess. It just like helped me so much to become the person I really was. And then I discovered what I like, what I don't like. And then it gave me confidence to travel alone more. And just it changed my life in general. Because I usually work too much for what I'm paid for. And it's a good way to just be paid for what I do. cherries really depends with them having the stem on, with them having been picked cleanly, the bud remains on the tree so that it can produce more cherries the next year. So when you have beginners coming in and like break buds or pull the stems off the cherries, the farmer is losing. So farmers always want experienced pickers to come back, but then this experience is not really being valued. I'm an engineer, so some, most of the time I'm actually thinking about how I could create a machine to pick cherries as well. But at the same time, I've talked to other pickers who are like, don't you dare build a machine to pick cherries because we're all going to lose our jobs. But I guess it's just a matter of time before the machines come. And I, I, I welcome machines. I think machines are here to make our lives easier. Like before we had tractors, we had to just toil the whole day in the field. And now we have tractors, which just, you know, reduces the time and how hard you have to work. I think if machines can do it, machines should be allowed to do it, but there should be a clear pathway towards what the people who are currently doing it, what they're gonna end up doing. This season, like, nobody could start at 11.30 at night because it's still too hot to pick cherries. During the day, like, you can't pick cherries after 30 degrees because then the stem just comes off and the fruits get soft and they get damaged, so they usually stop picking. I mean, normally I can make around three grand a week picking cherries, but right now I'm just making, like, twelve to $1,500 picking cherries. So climate change is directly affecting that. As we go forward, I think it's just gonna get even worse. So maybe it might be the end of cherries if the temperature keeps going on in this direction. Usually during harvest, we would wake up and it would be cold outside. Like we'd be in sweaters and toques and sweatpants and like fully, fully dressed for the first maybe four hours of the day. And I came out of my house with this on and I was like warm already. Like it just didn't even cool down overnight. People call it like global warming or climate change. And I think maybe climate change is more accurate description because there are more sporadic swings in weather patterns. When I was a kid, there were very few forest fires. Now, it's almost an expectation that we're gonna have a really, really smoky summer here. And it wasn't like that when I was a kid. We would go through beautiful blue sky summer all summer. I grew up on this farm. I was born into farming. I'm actually a third generation cherry grower. This year, we have a very light crop. Um, it's like tiny. There's so many things that are out of our control, like weather, what the cost of labor is, and what you're gonna sell your fruit for, and 
A lot of farming is just like a total gamble. As a small farmer, because we only have 25 acres, we're competing with growers who have a thousand acres. So they have a department that does Global Gap and a department that does the bookkeeping and a department that does irrigation. You know, like they have like a crew of people that do all the things. And then when it comes to 25 acres, my dad and I do all the things. It's a little bit intimidating for us to keep playing this game. 